NASCAR is exploring the purchase of the Long Beach Grand Prix. Yeah, you heard me right. I didn't stutter. I'm not getting confused. This is an April Fool's Day. I have not lost my mind at the moment, but NASCAR reportedly is exploring purchasing the Long Beach Grand Prix. Well, 50% of it. So Racer.com Marshall Pruitt reported that NASCAR is in discussions or has at least maybe potentially made a bid to purchase 50% of the Long Beach Grand Prix. So do a little bit of background here. The 50% stake is up for sale because Kevin Kalkoven passed away and now his family's estate is looking to offload his portion of the Long Beach Grand Prix. The other 50% is owned by Jerry Forsythe. The two of them, of course, were race promoters. And then, you know, when Kevin passed away, now that 50% is up for grabs. And you're probably wondering, well, what about IndyCar? Yeah, that's the big thing here. So the Long Beach Grand Prix has been around for 49 years and at no point in that have stock cars, NASCAR in particular, been a part of that event. They've had Formula One for a little bit of the 70s into the 80s. They've had IndyCar, Kart, and they've also had the Toyota All-Star Challenge. I mean, that's where Frankie Muniz got his first taste of, of racing and a few others, some notable moments in Scion TCs and Toyota Celicas, to name a few. But it's always been home to IndyCar's second biggest race of the year. It's their biggest street course, road course race of the season behind the Indianapolis 500. And that could possibly be in jeopardy here. NASCAR, of course, refuses to comment on it. They have, of course, said just this past um, year at the Daytona 500, literally two months ago, NASCAR President Steve Phelps said that they will have a race in Southern California in 2025. Whether that's going to be at the LA Coliseum, whether that's going to be in a parking lot around Dodger Stadium, which has been rumored, or could possibly be at the Long Beach Grand Prix. They will have a race there. And now if they're purchasing 50% of it, it makes all the sense in the world why they would still have a footprint in Southern California. It would be really weird. It'd be like seeing Matthew McConaughey playing Michael Scott in the office. And you're like, this is the show. This is not the same people. This is the racetrack, but these aren't the cars that typically race here. It would be really interesting. So IndyCar absolutely cannot let this happen. This would be a detrimental blow to IndyCar, more than they've already been dealt by Penske Entertainment. It feels like they might just want to continue to keep hurt themselves and don't do that. Not a great idea. But if this happens, this is a massive blow. And now Penske reportedly is trying to block this from happening. Penske Entertainment is preparing a bid of their own to try to take that 50% or purchase that 50% from Kevin Kalkoven's estate. Will that be successful? I don't know. I think NASCAR really wants this to happen. So I heard rumors about this probably two months ago at this point, and I was highly skeptical of it when I heard it. I was highly skeptical because the two of them can't coexist. I don't think that the city of Long Beach is going to put up with NASCAR on one weekend and IndyCar on another weekend. That could happen because right now the Formula D, the Drift Series, that happens on the weekend before the IndyCar Long Beach Grand Prix. I don't think that you can run NASCAR one weekend and IndyCar the next week. And I don't think the residents there are going to put up with two very big, very loud events happening in consecutive weekends. Tax revenue, yes, that's great. Quality of life for two weeks, people probably aren't going to be super pumped about that. So I think it's got to be one or the other. NASCAR, of course, has a vested interest in this. Why? Because NASCAR owns IMSA, which apparently is kind of a secret to a lot of people out there. But yes, NASCAR does own IMSA, and IMSA does race at Long Beach. NASCAR would love to keep that event for IMSA and also for their premier stock car series. And putting the NASCAR Cup Series on the streets of Long Beach is exactly what they want to do. IndyCar, like I said, cannot let this happen. But I have this unnerving expectation that they are going to let it happen because the Penske Entertainment, the Roger Penske regime at IndyCar does nothing but make wrong steps. And now for IndyCar, this is unfortunate for them because NASCAR has kind of started to let IndyCar be the guinea pig for certain areas and then they come in and take those events away. NASCAR, of course, you know, has Nashville. They race at the Nashville Super Speedway, not down on the streets of Nashville, but NASCAR definitely has a great foothold in Nashville. IndyCar put on great events at Iowa with High V and all the activation there. NASCAR said, you're doing a really good job. We're going to go ahead and have a cup race here. Sold it out immediately. And now they're looking at Long Beach and they're like, well, we can take this from IndyCar too. NASCAR controls all of the racetracks in this country outside of the Indianapolis 500. 
Not really. But if NASCAR wants to go there, they're going to, the track that is, is going to allow NASCAR to have the preferred date. Whenever they want it, IndyCar, you can figure out the rest of it, but you can't have whatever NASCAR picks. And with Long Beach and the Indy 500, those are the ones that really IndyCar controls. St. Pete as well, but NASCAR's not interested in St. Pete because they already have Homestead. They already have the Daytona 500. What's going to be really telling here is just exactly how all of this plays out because I don't have faith in Penske Entertainment making the right decision for this. On the NASCAR side, it's going to be interesting to see cup cars go around there. It's not to say that they can't, but I do think that there's a strong possibility somebody ends up in the fountain, uh, sitting on top of the flowers, sitting on top of the hedges. I think NASCAR is plenty capable of making it around Long Beach. I don't think that's an issue. I'm just not sure that they can make it around safely because between the fountain and the hairpin in the final corner, those are two spots where I could see a lot of beating and banging on the cup side. And it'd be interesting. I mean, I've seen and ran the NASCAR Cup Series car, the Gen 7 car around Long Beach on iRacing, and it's difficult. It's really difficult. But NASCAR does like street races. They want to be in Southern California. We don't know what the future of the Chicago street course is. And right now, they kind of have an open date right there, which has essentially been filled by Iowa for the 2024 season. But if Chicago doesn't continue on next year, it could, it could not. There is a contract in place. We'll see what happens with that. That date could just move to the Southern California date. And now, does NASCAR want that date to be right now or into April when it traditionally runs with IndyCar? I would imagine so. But at the same time, NASCAR does love to make that westward swing early in the season. Putting a race on California in April kind of messes things up a little bit, but could allow for a great schedule shakeup, which I think we'd all be fine with. So I think there's a lot of things in play here. But for NASCAR to be exploring this means that they have certainly thought about it. And for it to be public now means that there's definitely fire where there's smoke. Like I said, I didn't necessarily believe it when it first came out because... Like I said, it, it, the quality of life, the residents of Long Beach aren't going to put up with very loud stock cars, which would have to run mufflers, of course, and then IndyCar the next weekend. That's a lot of setup time, especially for the amount of logistics that goes into having the Cup Series there if they do it the week before IndyCar, and then having IndyCar there you know, the week after. That's a lot of moving trucks, a lot of moving parts, a lot of signage that needs to move around, a lot of everything that needs to move and change. So yeah, the possibility is there. I think it's just gotta be one or the other. And I think if NASCAR makes this purchase, they went out, IndyCar's gone. IndyCar will not return to the streets of Long Beach. And like I said, it'll be a massive failure on IndyCar's part. Of course, there's a lot of moving parts around this. I am interested. I know that the promoters have the right to the racetrack and whatever they wanna race on it is their prerogative, right? I am interested to see if they wanted to host two major events, what the Long Beach City Council would have to say about that. Also don't know what it says in the contract that they have with the city of Long Beach either, but I think there could be some things that would potentially not allow that to happen. For now though, we'll have to wait and see. But NASCAR is bidding on this 50% stake to host a race on the streets of Long Beach. And I think we're all here for it because it would be really interesting at this point, but it'd be really unfortunate for IndyCar to lose this date. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.